I remember being 19 years old and thinking, why does everything else in my body get stronger but my shoulders? Why do they always feel stiff and hurt? There must be some sort of imbalance, but what is it? It wasn't until years later that I got my answer, and this may help you as well. I was dealing with scapular winging and tilting, where basically the shoulder blades come off the rib cage, and for me, they would tilt forward as well. The internet told me it was an easy fix. You just need to strengthen the serratus anterior, this hidden muscle underneath the armpit. Fast forward more years later, I've been doing my serratus exercises religiously and yet very little progress. I was fed up. I dropped everything else and worked on this one problem for months and I figured it out. Here's what I found. The serratus does indeed have to get strong, but the most common recommended serratus strengthening exercises won't actually work if your serratus doesn't know how to engage properly already. And if you're doing these wrong, you're just reinforcing forcing bad patterns by getting the wrong muscles to take over instead of the serratus. So to fix this problem, I'm not just gonna show you what exercises to do. I'm gonna show you how to do them properly, what it should feel like and what it should look like. We'll start with isometric holds just to get the serratus to engage properly. And then more importantly, we'll use dynamic movements to teach your body how to keep the serratus engaged no matter what you're doing. First, we're gonna start out with the support hold. What we're learning here is how to push the shoulder blade down and make sure when you push it down, it's not tilting forward. The tilting forward is one of those compensations we talked about earlier. If when you go to push your shoulder down, your shoulder tilts forward, you're using your pecs to push your shoulder down, not your serratus. Okay, so we'll just need two platforms that are equal height so we can put our hands on them and support some of our body weight. And when you're first starting, you're gonna want a lot of weight in your feet. But as you get stronger, you'll be able to put more weight into your arms. So we lock the elbows out and then we work on pushing the shoulders down away from the ears, creating more space between the shoulder and the ear. Now, as we talked about, one problem we'll see is sometimes when you go to push down, your shoulders will roll forward into this tilted position. What we'll do to counteract that is try to engage the lat and the tricep here. So you're going to squeeze those two muscles really hard and that will actually pull your shoulder blade back up into a more vertical position. And lastly, your posture plays a big role in how your shoulders move. So if when you go to do this exercise, your head falls forward, we need to make sure that we pull the head back up over the rib cage. So tuck your chin and imagine your head is being pulled on a string straight up to the ceiling. So it looks like this and see how that straightens out my upper back. That's a big part of fixing this problem. Try to accumulate 30 seconds of work in this position, but you may need to take breaks if you start seeing you're losing your position. One thing that's gonna be really important in the process of fixing this is having some sort of feedback system. Your shoulder blades are behind you, so you can't really see what's going on. So take videos of yourself, or at minimum, have a mirror next to you so you can see what's happening when you do your support holds and see if your shoulder blade is doing anything funny that you wouldn't want it to. And that's how you'll make those mental connections of what it feels like when you do it right. Next up, we've got the plank, but we're gonna do it in a very specific way. So we're gonna do a plank on the forearms, but we're going to have the forearms parallel to each other. Often you'll feel how the hands will want to spin in. We're gonna really work to get those forearms parallel. So the key points here, we're gonna pull the shoulders down away from the ears and then drive them forward. And that's the magic to the plank, is learning how to protract the shoulder blades, meaning have the shoulder blades move around the rib cage outside towards the armpits. Then as we walk back into our plank, maintain our shoulder position, pull the rib cage in and try to make your back as wide as possible. And the last piece is make that neck nice and long and then you can go to any intensity you want. If this is challenging, stay on your knees. If you want more, move on to the feet. Now for both of these isometric exercises, what we're looking to feel is a lot of sensation around the bottom of the armpit here. The serratus 
is here, but also we want the lat to be working as well. So we're pulling the shoulder blade down, getting that to engage, and that'll help us get the serratus engaged. So just look for a lot of sensation in this area. Hold the plank for 30 to 60 seconds, but be honest with yourself. When your form starts to break down, stop. Next, we're gonna learn how to move the shoulder blades while keeping the serratus engaged, which is the whole point, right? For this first exercise, all you'll need is a light band. We'll take the band and wrap it around the back just beneath the shoulder blades. We'll start out in this forward position where my arms are locked and I'm gonna push my shoulder blades down and forward just like how we learned in the plank. Now the action here is we're going to allow this band to pull the arms apart but the whole point is we want to keep the shoulder blades protracted. The tendency will be as your arms move apart, the shoulder blades will want to squeeze together in the back, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna keep those shoulder blades pushed apart, and that's what keeps the serratus engaged. Now we'll move between these two positions, forward and out, trying to keep the back as wide as possible and the shoulder blades in protraction the entire time. And of course, paying attention to posture, not letting the head fall forward or the rib cage flare. Do this for 10 or 15 reps. And if you can do more than 15, your band is too light. Now this last exercise is very challenging because it takes everything we learned and starts to move it up overhead. And overhead is really where we start to see a lot of those compensations come out. So we'll start with our forearms on the wall, just like we did in that plank. Give a little bit of lean forward and try to keep your forearms vertical parallel to each other. Now we're gonna protract the shoulders and pull the shoulder blades down again, just like in that plank. But now we're gonna slide the arms upwards, trying to keep the shoulder blades protracted and forward. Imagine you're trying to drive your armpit towards the wall. If you start feeling your neck or your upper traps get involved, then you've gone too far. When I first started working on this exercise, I was only moving this much. Now some other things to pay attention to is again what your posture is doing. Are you flaring your rib cage? Is your head falling forward? We need to pull the rib cage in and make that neck long as we slide up. and maybe even importantly, come back down. Don't skip the down portion. And if you're getting pretty good at this one, to make it more challenging, you're gonna put a band around the forearms and then you actually have to work to keep the forearms vertical. And like I said, this is the exercise that's really gonna wrap everything together. So if you can do this well, you can definitely do a push up well or press things overhead well, and that's really what we're after. If you really wanna fix these problems, then work on them two to three times a week. And the best time to do them is right before you do an upper body workout. That way you're gonna have your serratus engaged already before you go do all of your other strength movements. Do them in the order they were presented. Two to three sets should do the trick. If you need even more help with your shoulders like I did, check out the Bulletproof Shoulders program, link in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.